Thanks a lot, guys. Eight in a row for the New Orleans Saints. And uh, we talk about this um, over the last seven games before this one. You guys keep finding different ways to win. Well, congratulations. You found another way. Yeah, yeah we, we, we made it interesting, you know. Um, but uh, listen, ton of ton of confidence and belief on this team. I think we, you know, we struggled at times during this game. I mean, listen, they're, they're a great opponent, you know. We, we knew how high-powered their offense was, and their offense was going to you know, have the ability to possess the ball and score points, which they, you know, they did. Um, I, I felt like, you know, we were just, when we were called upon to make the plays at the end of the game, we needed to make them, you know. And um, obviously, you know, to be down 15 points with, you know, five and a half minutes left is, is, is quite an uphill battle. But, um, you know, to go down and get that, that, that first touchdown and then, man, momentum, defense goes out there, big stop, we get the ball back, and here we go right down the field and score again. And then, man, once we got the two-point conversion, we're going to OT. I think there was no doubt in anybody's mind that, you know, we, we had this stadium on our side. We had the, you know, the noise, the ruckus, the, you know, the belief we were, we were going to win this game. No doubt about it. You needed two touchdown drives and a two-point conversion to force it over time. I know you take pride in being a clutch player down the stretch. You were 11 for 11 in those final two drives. How satisfying is that? Well, listen, uh, there's so many guys made plays at the end of this game. Um, you know, Kobe Fleener came up with some big plays. Ted Ginn came up with some big plays. O -line I knew you'd be modest. I knew you'd be modest. Uh, the, the running backs. I mean, everybody, everybody played their role and, and, and did their job and, and did a great job. And, you know, listen, the two-minute drill is something we practice all the time, all the time. You're always thinking about, um, you know, being able to make plays in those situations to put points on the board and, and help your team win. And, you know, whether it's before halftime or at the end of a game, um, we're all going to do what we're called to do. You called Kamara's number, and he was bobbling the ball a little bit. I know this is a nerve-wracking game, yeah, but what was yeah. going through your mind when you saw that play? Well, it's funny because you see the coverage, and I kind of looked over at him and I said, "Hey, go, you know, go win. You know, you're, you're getting the ball. Go win." Um, just based upon the coverage, you know that that was the matchup, and um, so boom, boom, you know, he makes a great, great play to get open, but just a lot of bodies in there, you know. So you're trying to find a lane to throw in the ball, and um, I didn't see the bobble until the very last minute, you know, because my vision was blocked as well. But all of a sudden, I see the ball up in the air, and, I, and I'm thinking, "How how that just happened? He he didn't get hit." And everybody kind of paused there for a second. And then he, and he told me later, he goes, he goes I, I went up to snatch it and then just, you know, braced for impact, you know, <laughs> thinking I'm just about to get, you know, exploded here. And everybody else kind of paused because they don't know what's going on. And then he, you know, and next thing you know, he's in the end zone. Talk about the two-point conversion. You do so much work to get to that point. If you don't get it, what a heartbreaking loss. But talk about the play call and the satisfaction of getting that play. Yeah, listen, it was... Um, it, it was something, you know, obviously you, you prepare for those situations, you know, I mean, there's a spot on the call sheet that's two point plays, you know, and so as you're looking through that, you know, prior to the game, pregame and everything, you're sitting there going, all right, this is, these are obviously critical situations if you're, if you're going for two. Um, so obviously we called a play that we'd, we'd been working on, felt good about, and the result was good. Okay, I know you've been real careful about comparisons. But I have to show you this. Uh, this was reminiscent to me of the Washington win, your Super Bowl year. You go to overtime. I took this picture before the game. I'm just saying, he was here, and he was, he was eyeing, Robert Meacham was eyeing the Washington Redskins. Uh, you believe in some of that sometimes. <laughs> Listen, it's uh, crazy how things work out. Obviously, he was instrumental in that game. You know, he causes the fumble, you know, and takes it, runs it for a touchdown, and then he catches the, you know, the game-tying touchdown with about, 40 seconds left at the end of the game, then we go on and win that in OT. It's funny, I've played, I've beat Washington three times and they've all been in overtime. How about that? That's kind of crazy. Two at their place and now one here. So um, it's always been, always great games with these guys. But um, yeah, very fitting that Meacham was here to bring that mojo for us. Very eerie. All right, finally, moving forward now. You guys win a game like this. You're eight straight. You have more wins already this year than you've had the last three years. What does this do moving forward for this football team? It's momentum. It's momentum. But we understand just the challenges each and every week. You know, it only gets tougher. Um, the games only get more meaningful. You know, the, uh, the, the competition is tough, you know. Um, you know, we're about to go on the road and play a team that's, you know, leading their division, um, seven and three. I know they lost today, the Rams, but, um, you know, they're going to be hungry for a win just like us, you know. And, um, you know, each and every week, it's just so so important. But also, I think just for us as a team, and being so young, you know, you look at it and say, man, how, how good can we be? You know, and, and you, you come off a win like this, where you know, it all comes together at the right time. You know, even though it wasn't perfect for, you know, the, the 58 minutes previous to that. Um, 
but um, you know, th this, this is what, man, builds a team. This is what strengthens a team. This is what makes you feel like you, you can win any game you play. Great epic win, one for the ages. Uh, appreciate your time, enjoy this one. Thanks, Mike. All right, Drew Brees here in the Superdome. Some Brees magic, maybe some Meacham magic, a lot of magic here. Back to you guys in the studio.